actor was performing in towns throughout the Austrian Alps. On December the 23rd, they arrived at a village near Salzburg, where they were to reenact the story of Christ's birth in the small church of St. Nicholas. Unfortunately, the St. Nicholas's church organ wasn't working and would not be repaired before Christmas. Because the church organ was without commission, the actors presented their Christmas drama in a private home. That Christmas presentation put assistant pastor Joseph Moore in a very meditative mood. Instead of walking straight to his house that night, Moore took the longer way home, the longer path which took him over a hill overlooking a village. From that hilltop, Moore looked down on the peaceful, snow-covered village. Reveling in majestic silence of the wintry night, Moore gazed down at the glowing Christmas card-like scene. His thoughts about the Christmas play he had just seen made him remember of a poem he had written several years before. That poem was about the night when the angels announced the birth of the long-awaited Messiah to the shepherds on a hillside. Moore decided those words might make a good carol for his congregation the following evening at their Christmas Eve service. The one problem was that he didn't have any music to which that poem could be sung. So the next day, Moore went to go see the church organist, Franz Gruber. Gruber only had a few hours to come up with a melody which could be sung with a guitar. Gruber had managed to compose a musical setting for the poem. It no longer mattered to Moore or Gruber that the church organ was inoperative. They now had a Christmas carol that could be sung without that organ. Love. 